y'all. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, man. We're getting it in uh, today. Um, I was going to show y'all the burning process, but it's simple. Let me show you this. I just really just took some canola oil, sprayed inside the grill, uh, lit it up, let it run. There's a million videos out there. I want to bore y'all with all that. But really, truthfully, you just light it up and just burn it. And I did mine for like four hours, started at 250, went to 350, and then 450, and just let it run. And then after that, I shut, shut it down. And I, I might say that I got some, still got some charcoal left though, which is outstanding for me, saving. I thought it was just gonna burn it all out. But uh, anyway, today is cooked, pulled pork. You always gotta test your grill, see how well it does on pulled pork. Um, I need to render that fat anyway. You know, fat is what's going on, season your grill. And then we're gonna go from there, y'all. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna like this, but I bought some uh, pans, cause I don't like grease on my, on, on the bottom, but we're gonna see how they work. So stay tuned, y'all. All right, we're back, y'all. Um, as you can see, I'm ready to rock and roll. Guess what kind of wood this is? Y'all know my favorite. Um, I miss my Shirley Fab, but you know, it is what it is. Um, bam, have to get the wood chunks. You already know, cherry is my favorite. And, uh, we're gonna get to it. Oh, so like I was saying, I bought the aluminum pans and they, uh, I got them at Walmart. It was buy two and get one free, but I saw them at the dollar store and I'm kind of mad I spent my money on them, but they're a dollar. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show y'all this to catch my grease drippings. I'm gonna stick this in here. It fits perfect. Put this to my perfect side. And then, perfect. Catch all my drippings and nothing's on the bottom. Hold on. Um, yep. So this is simple, y'all. I'm gonna take this charcoal I got right here. Boston butt and it's gonna cook for a long time so I don't want to have to open it up uh, you know to change out the uh, to add more fuel to it but just let it rock and roll so like I said this thing is simple I got me some cubes I went bougie y'all went bougie bought me some little cubes y'all know I don't like using these um, once I run out of them I'm probably just gonna go to paper towels with a little oil on there old cooking grease don't get rid of it that's what it's for and then just light it and let it go. So I'm gonna light this. Actually, I'm gonna show you how it works real quick. You just take this little cube, just stick it in there. Get this light on. And we're gonna talk about this. So real quick, make sure you got your doors open. This is where your ashes go. Make sure this is open. You make sure this is open. Got a flimsy, but I'll fix that. Um, and make sure your fan is open. Your fan door. So let me see if you can see this real quick. Yep. All right. So I'm going to turn this on. And I want to set it. I'm going to set it to 275 because that's where I'm barbecuing all day. It's kind of cold up here. It's about 50 degrees where I'm at. Uh, I'm in Maryland. Uh, don't ask. It is what it is. But anyway. I'm gonna set this up. Um, yeah, you can't change the temps right here. But I got the app on my um, my cell phone and my iPad. So I'm gonna set it down so I can monitor it. And I also have uh, some gauges. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna test it out real quick. Real simple trick just to see how, how well it's cal calibrated against my thermopin. 
And then I know that the, the temp gauge because I'm sticking it inside the port butt. So stay tuned. Um, once this get, comes up 275, we'll be back. And we'll show you the port butt. And then I'm gonna show you the, the, uh, the heat test. Um, not even the heat test, just testing the temperature of your probe that's going in the meat so you know how far it off it's off. And then we're gonna let it cook. So we'll be back, y'all. What's good, y'all? We back, man. This your boy, like I said. Um, I set the temperature for, I don't know if you can see it, 263. I set it for 275. Um, then I decided I'm gonna do 250. So um, it's overshot a little bit, which is fine because I'm about to put this meat on here that I had been had to sit out. It's right on the table right here. I'll show it to you in a minute. Um, and it's gonna bring the temperature down anyway, so the, so the, the grill's gonna have to come up back up the temp. Uh, so far, I'm liking the way it's maneuvering. I ain't gotta sit here and make sure it stays at 265. But we're gonna see. But before I do that, we're gonna do a real test real quick on this meat probe they gave me. So I got my handy thermal pin right here. Now you got to have one of these. Uh, this is the MK4. So I'm gonna do my meat probe one. And as soon as I plug it in, y'all, it's already at 59 degrees. So all I did was, this is a cup of water. Just a regular cup of water. Just doing a test, see what the tip is. I'm gonna just sit it in there for a second. And remember now, if you don't have one of these, these are calibrating the lab. So they are automatically, as soon as I stick it in, it's gonna tell me what the temperature of the water is. Uh, everything else, uh, there's some other devices out there, but for the most part, these meat, meat probes, they are, it takes them a little while to come up the temp. So right now, this one says 60 degrees. My thermal pin says 62. I'm gonna just stick it in the water. Put it all the way to the bottom just like it is. And they identically, 62, 60, 62. The meat probe says 62. So does the thermal pin. So that tells me my meat probes are pretty much calibrated to the, to the, to the uh, right temperature. And what that means for me is when I inject the meat probe into my meat, I know that I feel confident in the fact that the meat probe will be the same temperature theoretically as my thermal pen. I'm gonna still use it when it's time to test it to see if it's done, but we're gonna go from there. Um, long story short, about to put this meat on. Um, we're gonna try today just trying different methods. I'm gonna take me some cherry and stick in the ash box like they said and see how that goes. take this same water and put it in my pan. That's another benefit. Bam. Yep. So now I have this. Let me just tie it out the way. Get this meat on there real quick. I'm gonna take this out. Hold on, give me a sec. Remember, we're around here. We having fun, man. We're not here for perfection. We're trying to perfect the meat. Sit it on the table. And I'm gonna just take this. Sit it right over the pan. And all I'm trying to do is see how well this thing cooks. If I need to take it off and don't use the pans, then that'll be what I do. But for now, that's what I'm going with. And then I'm gonna stick the meat probe in there. And then uh, it's gonna do what it do. Got a little handy little rubber silicone thing. 
That's good, y'all. Uh, stay tuned. I'm not gonna do anything for two hours. I'm gonna set my timer. Oh, let me show you this real quick. Here's the app. I got the Chart Griller app. It's on my iPad. Um, keep in mind, if you got it on your phone and your screen closes, like if you got a timeout on it, it'll lose the connection. But when you open the app, it'll come back. Um, unless you're on Bluetooth. Inside the house, Bluetooth, it'll shut off depending on how your house set up. But anyway, I leave this one on because I can just leave it just sitting out and I can see it. Right now it's at 216. My temperature is 250 that I got it set for. As you can see, 217 right here. The meat probe is 46. It's perfect right now. Um, so I'm good to go. I'm going to let this run and then uh, come back in two hours. I'm going to set me a timer. Pretty simple, two hours. There we go. Confirm. And bam, now I got a time on there going. Pretty simple, y'all. And if I had another meat probe, it'll be right here too as well. But I'm going to let it run, and we'll be back in two hours. I'm going to show you how I spritz it. All right, y'all, we're back, man. It's at the two-hour mark. I just set it right now just a minute ago for another two hours. We're going to open it up and look at it. I got a pan of water. I'm going to pour it into here again. Oh, man. That's looking good. I got some water I'm gonna pour in there. Looking good. Of course I bought this. Y'all know what this is. I don't know if it's gonna work because I got seasoning. I got my apple juice. I had to clean it out because I had seasoning in there that doesn't, like when you add it with juice, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, uh, I ain't gonna say mix, but I'm gonna let this run. I'm gonna let it run for another two hours. You see, it says 159. I'm gonna let it run for another two hours before I even do anything else to it. And then uh, we'll come back. We'll see how it goes. All right, y'all, we're back, man. You hear that buzzer going off, the beep or whatever. That means my two hours is up, so I'm at the four hour mark. It's about 3.30. Uh, I'm gonna set my timer again. I do it on, on, the, on the phone, on my iPad. Actually, let me show you this real quick. All right, simple. Just click on set timer. I'm gonna do, uh, do an hour. Yeah, that's good enough. Man, this thing real simple, man. It's like cheating. You know, let me show you what it looks like at four, four hour mark. It's at, uh, the meat probe says it's at 132 degrees, at 160, 165, that's when I'm gonna wrap it. Uh, all I'm gonna do is put in an aluminum pan, put some juice in there, apple juice, and then uh, wrap it with aluminum foil, and just let it run. I ain't got nothing but time, I'm gonna let it run, but I'm gonna open it up, let y'all get a look at it real quick. Woo! Spritz it real quick. You spritz it lightly, lightly because you don't want the seasoning to come off. Yeah, let me give you a quick look. 
Then we're gonna close this lid because y'all already know what I'm saying. If you're looking, you ain't cooking. I'm gonna put some more water in that little pan. Seems like it's working so far, but we'll see. Uh, hold on real quick. Keep it going. And I'm only, I'm gonna tell you the only reason, let me close this. And we'll talk. The only reason I'm putting water in there is not so much to keep it moist, but to make it easy to clean my pan so I can keep using it because that's gonna be one of the pans I use to catch my drippings, uh, depending on how other cooks go. So um, that one I'll have to keep by them, at least for now. If it doesn't work out, then I'll just trash it and just let it just drip in the bottom. But uh, we'll see, we'll be back. Uh, but it's time to wrap, y'all. All right, we're back, y'all. It is time to take this out and wrap it and then put it back in here. It is freezing out here, y'all. Uh, I'm going to wrap it and then let it go. Uh, but I want y'all to see what it looks like. Give you a close up. Your boy is back. Yeah. You see that mahogany, cherry looking red. Anyway, we'll be back uh, when it's all said and done. All right. All right, y'all. We back real quick. Um, it's finally cooled down. It is a.m. The, the next morning. Uh, I'm gonna take this. I kind of already peeked at it, cheating, but uh. I'm gonna take this. Man, this thing smells phenomenal. It's got a whole house smelling. Look at that, the bone. I don't know if you can even see. I don't even know if the bone pulled out yet, but it already fell off. So what I did when I um when I took it out, I flipped it over so the juices that were sitting in it um would take care of the top part just because I'm not able to spritz it. But we're gonna see real quick, see if I can transfer this over to another pan and get it out out of the uh the juices, I'm gonna flip it back over. Hopefully it don't fall apart on me because it still got some bone in it. Ooh, this is still a little warm. All right, I'm trying to find the bone. The bone falling apart, y'all. Yeah. There we go. This thing is, whew, look at that. I wish I had my, my shredders. You know I got to taste it. Mmm. Look at this meat, y'all. You see the redness in it? Um, I don't even want to say that smoke ring because I only put like three chunks in that, but this thing is, look at that. It's delicious. Hold on. I got to taste another piece because I'm the first time I haven't pulled pork in a while. And we're going to talk. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right. Hold on. Give me a sec. Uh, we'll be right back. Let me get something to clean my hands. All right? All right. We're back, y'all. Like I said, this right here, I'm a, of course, I'm going to pour this juice back on top of it. Uh, some of this is fat. I need to buy one of those uh, fat separators. Um, that way I can just do it that way. But uh, this meat, man, this is, whoo, look at this. Mm. And I got braces, y'all, and I'm eating this, so. Bear with me. Mm. Anyway, this video was, I ain't gonna say my coming out party. It's been about two years since I, Y'all seen videos from me. Lots going on um, in that span. Actually, more than two years. Probably, wow, probably January of 19. And this is what? Yeah, over two years. Almost three. Wow, almost three years since y'all seen another video from me. But anyway, I'm back. We're going to periodically do them. Um, I don't have customers. I'm new to Maryland. Um, but I'm going to be cooking for myself, right? So we're going to. 
we're gonna do it like this. Anything y'all comment, I'm gonna write them down and we're just gonna cook them because I ain't got nothing else to do but cook now because I'm retired. No excuses. But uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for watching my coming out party. Um, we're gonna talk about a lot. So comment below uh, what kind of questions you want me to answer. I may even do a live at some point. Um, do a question to answer. Uh, don't hurt me too bad, y'all. I've been gone, business. Uh, it's been crazy. Retirement. Moving from the south, the warm weather, to this cold weather. You see, I got a scully on now. I'm in the house. Um, lots been going on since then, but uh, bear with me right, right now. Um, I just posted a picture on my, uh, my Instagram. Um, I really haven't been using, but apparently Instagram is the thing now. So check that out, backyard underscore BBQR. Uh, I'll be posting pictures there too. So you'll know even before I load the video exactly what I'm cooking. Or even if I do a cook and forget to uh, do a video, let's upload photos, man, as I'm messing around outside in this uh, cold weather because I'm the only nut out here barbecuing. But uh, hopefully that'll attract the neighbors and then turn into uh, customers or even just good friendships or anything. But anyway. Anyhow, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Like I said, this was not about seasoning. This is me just testing the grill out. I haven't been bar, I probably barbecued in the last maybe two, three years, probably four or five times, right? Believe it or not. Um, got rid of all my equipment. You know how it is, moving from one place to another. Um, but I'm starting to buy it all back, slowly but surely. So it's gonna come back. Uh, not sure for sure the fab is in the future. I have been talking with Tyler, that's my man down there about doing me a patio model so we'll see how that goes um i don't know who knows where the future goes i'm just having fun right now like i said comment below tell me what you want to hear tell me what you want to see tell me what you want me to do there's a lot going on i'm just getting back into the mix um so yeah this your boy mr b don't forget to like comment subscribe i let your boy i'm back y'all